We talked about loyalty in the last question. I was wondering if you were a Syrian man, a young Syrian man in Syria today, where would your loyalties lie, do you think? I think it's a really difficult issue, difficult question, because A, I'm not Syrian. B, I'm not young. Right? I am a man, right? So how would I answer that question? I probably have to say it depends on where I am, my level of education, my level of understanding. If, for example, I'm a young Syrian man without much education, living in the country, maybe in the northeast of the country, which has suffered a range of economic problems in the agricultural sector over the last 10 to 15 years, you know, and I've seen a lot of kind of people struggling to get by, including my family, and I don't have, you know, a, a deep knowledge of the world because I'm young and fairly naive, I guess I might be susceptible to, to the propaganda being put about. You know, the only way to deal with this regime is to take up arms against it and destroy it. And, you know, there are Alawis and, you know, and they're against us and so forth and so on. But if I'm in the city, if I'm living in Damascus, I've had a university education, I'm an urban young man, I'm likely to see the situation much, much more differently. You know, and I think the, 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 the kind of many young men f from the countryside, I think they have formed the kind of the, the basis of these armed groups. You know, they're not controlling them, but they're prepared to kind of go in and fight. And it's, I mean, it's tragic. This is happening. You know, it, I don't, no one should get any, any pleasure out of this. W whatever position you take, to see the number of young men who are dying, either soldiers, young men in the army, or young men in the fighting groups, it's, it's tragic for Syria. And, and we you can say that many of these young men, you know, simply are, are finding what they believe. You know, what they believe, I think, might be wrong. I might think they've been misled. I wouldn't accuse them necessarily of being insincere. All right? But if I'm in an urban setting, I've had the advantage of more, a better schooling, maybe a university degree, maybe I'm, I would be more likely to see things in a different light, you know, and less likely to fall for some of the propaganda that's, that's been put out by these groups and by, their, by, the foreign gov by the outside government sponsoring them. So it depends on you know, where you are, who you are, your level of education, and so forth and so on. Yeah.